What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on SoFi stock. And on today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then we'll continue with the fundamental news that might drive the price of this company. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. And before we get into all of that, if you guys would like to earn two free stocks with Mumu valued up to $7,000, please check out that link in the description below. All you have to do is sign up for an account and deposit as little as $1. This is guaranteed free money. Full details you can see on the screen right now. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here at this point uh, and I've told you that uh, we have two basically uh, options. Uh, first of all, we might uh, hit the next uh, range of resistance at the price point of roughly $8.5 and it is the confluence if I uh, connect this top and these two tops. It is uh, the confluence with this range of resistance as well. And the second option was that uh, we completed all five wave structure inside uh, this movement and uh, because of this, uh, from this bottom to this top, we formed only one wave for on a slightly bigger scale. And if it is the case, we should have the retracement. And uh, because of this case, we can pull the Fibonacci retracement tool from this bottom to this top. As you can see, I pulled it right here. Here is the tool. And uh, we have following levels that we might land in order to collect more steam to hit high targets. Let me delete unnecessary tools. I don't need it for now. I don't need this one. Don't need this one. I don't need this one, internal movement, I don't need these lines as well. So, and as you can see, we had uh, this range of uh, support as very strong support. It is the uh, top of previous uh, swing high and uh, we bounced uh, twice uh, from this range and then we broke it. We broke uh, this uh, range and hit uh, the level of 0.382 at $6.81. I have to say that in my opinion it is not the end of this movement uh, and I will show you in my technical analysis why I think so. But for now let's continue with the total sentiment of the market and let me show you that we are in red. S&P 500 uh, during last session uh, lost about 0.81%. Dow Jones uh, bounced to the upside and gained about 0.15%. Uh, Nasdaq is deeply in red uh, by 2.35% uh, and Russell 2000 also lost 1.56%. Uh, so we have uh, basically a lot of headwinds uh, on the markets and one of them is this snap uh, chart uh, major sell-off and definitely it was uh, one of the reasons why we have uh, lower prices for entire markets. So let me show you some news uh, related directly to SoFi. Just one day ago on Investor Place we have this article and it says SoFi stock remains in limbo. No one can determine what is up or down for this fintech. And I have to say that it is quite interesting uh, article and in this article uh, you can read uh, about pros and cons uh, directly related to SoFi and what uh, should we expect next. And the main idea is uh, that this company is quite uh, good uh, fundamentally, but uh, it has a lot of headwinds uh, related not uh, to this particular company, but for entire fintech industry. And let me show you another very bullish news. Uh, on the insider trading list, uh, we have a new filing that uh, was made on uh, May 24th, just uh, basically yesterday. And uh, right here you can see that Anthony Nota is uh, still buying uh, SoFi stock and uh, he bought uh, about a quarter million dollars in value in its recent position and he bought uh, 37,056 shares of uh, SoFi. Definitely, his recent buys are quite massive. I have to say that uh, he bought right under $1 million on May alone and uh, this means uh, if CEO is buying his own shares definitely it is a very good uh, fundamental sign. And let me show you the bigger picture of uh, the markets, how they behave. On uh, CNN uh, Business uh, we can find this article that is titled Markets are down but these charts explain why investors shouldn't panic and I want to pay your attention on the world investors. And let me show you this uh, chart. 
bull and bear markets. Uh, the 14 uh, bull markets since uh, 1932 have returned 175% on average, while the 14 bear markets starting in 2029 have had an average loss of 39%. And as you can see, uh, two most recent bear markets uh, was uh, right here at 2000 and it was uh, the dot-com bubble. And next one was at 2008. It was the real estate uh, bubble. So we have uh, two recent uh, red markets, as you can see. But right after that, we had a huge increase in price of all of the markets, of all of the stocks. And definitely, if you are buying during these days, your upside potential is quite massive. And that's why you have to be very consistent with your buys if you're an investor. And let me show you another bullish news uh, for SoFi. On uh, their LinkedIn page, uh, you can find that for now they have uh, more than 400 employees and they have uh, 317 uh, new vacancies. And I have to say that some of these vacancies are from their technicist uh, department and from the Galileo. And this means uh, they are expanding their branches and uh, their activity in uh, South America and definitely it shows uh, the potential of this market. And I have to say that uh, from the fintech standpoint, uh, South American market is booming right now. And uh, it is very meaningful for SoFi that uh, Anthony Nota tries uh, to enter this market and tries to benefit uh, from uh, the current uh, situation. And I have to say that uh, this is uh, another major positive news for SoFi. So, and let's continue with the technical analysis. But before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, first of all, let me zoom out and uh, let me switch to weekly time frame. And let me turn off all the tools that we have on the screen. So, as you can see, we have consistently movement to the downside. And on my previous video, I have uh, showed you this uh, chart, but it was on daily time frame. Let's switch it right here. And I've told you that this movement doesn't have uh, major retracements. And we have uh, the 55 exponential moving average as the range of resistance. And uh, we had several touches of this uh, range. And uh, we have another one that was uh, right here just uh, three days ago. And we had this reaction. Definitely we have another attempt uh, to break this range. But for now we have the pullback. And I have to say that uh, from the technical standpoint, we should have massive, at least massive retracement to retrace all the wave uh, from this top to this bottom. And because of this, uh, probably this might be the very bottom of uh, the price action. And if it is the case, uh, we can accumulate our position all the way down until we hit uh, the range of roughly $4.89. And in my opinion, we won't hit it. And somewhere from these ranges, we might see the trend reversal. So let's, uh, let's continue on hourly time frame and let me turn on the tools. If you want to enter your position, we have to accumulate our uh, position all the way down, all the way through the 0 0.382 level. It is the price point of 6.81. Uh, through 0 0.5, the price point of 6.42 and to the golden pocket. Statistically, it is the most probable range of trend reversal. And somewhere from these ranges, we might have a trend reversal. And if it is the case, our next potential target, let me switch to four hours time frame, might be this previous swing high. And it is the price point of uh, around uh, $10.6. And from the current range, uh, depending on your entry price, uh, uh, let's assume that uh, we might enter the position. The average price of the position might be at $6.42. Uh, we might have about 65% uh, to this level. And definitely it is a very, very good uh, profit say in a matter of just uh, several weeks. But from the investor standpoint, this asset is very attractive uh, no matter how deep uh, it will go because fundamentally they have a very good uh, position. They have uh, very good guidance. Uh, they increased uh, its margin by buying the bank uh, license. Uh, and uh, definitely in a matter of next uh, couple of years, this asset uh, will bring you a lot of profits. So, I think uh, from the technical standpoint, that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the back, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm 